Hey, War Pugs. So Hobbit asked me in the live stream to check out Trick or Treat by the Door Monster. Now, I saw something by the Door Monster earlier in the live stream, and I thought it was really good. But um, this one went on for a little bit longer than I normally do in the live stream. I normally watch shorter videos, things like that. So we're going to check out SCP Foundation Trick or Treat. Um, the last one I saw involved them on RimWorld. I really want to see what this looks like. Let's get into it. Here we go. F SCP Foundation Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Happy Halloween. Care to come in? Well, no. my entire life my parents have been telling me not to go into strangers' houses. So, okay. Seems completely legit. I 100% believe this is an accurate representation of how D-Class are recruited. <laughs> cool costume. I like the place too. It's very secret lab. Thank you. I like yours as well. It's very I caught that reference. Did you? Very uh, societal leech. It's fitting. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Uh. I mean, do you, do you have, like, candy, or...? No, not this time. Oh, well, I should probably go. I've got, like, a bunch of more houses to hit. How about this? You answer some questions, and I'll give you some candy. Oh. Deal? Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. What's your name? Kevin. No change there. How old are you, Kevin? 19. And you don't see any problem with what you're doing? Barely attempting a costume and mooching free candy from strangers? Let's keep it professional. Look, if you want to treat me like a criminal, then I guess I'll just dress like a criminal. Yes, that is hilarious social commentary. Uh -huh. uh, what were you doing before you arrived here? Uh... Have you taken any illegal substances? I don't remember. I'll put you down as probably. Yeah. What time is it, Kevin? Um, I don't have my phone, because uh, there was this bucket full of candy, and it, it said take one, and I needed space in my pockets to carry it all, so I... Ballpark? I didn't, uh, like, uh, 9.30, maybe. <laughs> okay. And do you know where you are? Yeah, I'm in your weird house for some reason. Not quite. Do you know anything about a group called the SCP Foundation? Is that related to the DEA? It stands for <laughs> Secure, Contain, and Protect. Our job is to find any anomalous entities, objects, or concepts and keep them away from the public eye. Well, for real? Like the... the X-Files, right? For the sake of testing, we often utilize a group called D-Class personnel, who are convicted criminals. You'd fit right in. Oh, I'm not stealing candy, man. People are giving it away for free. Regardless, we are running out of our D-Class personnel, and we need a... When you're hard up, you're hard up. Let's go, SCP Foundation. New system to replace it. One of our SCPs is proving promising, but we need to run a few more tests first. Okay. Would you be interested in participating? Hell yeah. Do it! For this test, I just need you to give your opinion on a spooky story. That's all. SCP-5712 is to be kept inside an isolated observation room in Site-17. All interactions must be approved by Dr. Mellon. Under no circumstances is the light on SCP-5712 to be left on. The SCP is a section of wall, door frame, and door removed from the entrance to a suburban home in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, that's where I'm from. Yes, I know. Just listen. Whenever the exterior side of the door is isolated in total darkness and the porch light turned on, the doorbell will ring within 60 seconds and SCP-5712 will generate an instance of SCP-5712-1. A late teen Caucasian male dressed in a low quality orange jumpsuit. SCP-5712-1 will be carrying an open container such as a plastic bucket or a pillowcase. Get a bigger haul with a pillowcase. And will attempt to initiate an interaction by saying, trick or treat. Giving an amount of candy to SCP-5712-1 that it deems acceptable will prompt it to try and leave. After the door is closed, the instance of SCP-5712-1 will disappear. If the porch light is left on, another identical instance will generate within the next minute. So what do you think? Yeah. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, uh, it's not scary. Uh, it's written kind of weird, but I like that you put me in it. So you could tell I was talking about you. Yeah. But nothing else stood out to you. No. Great. Well, here's some candy. It is laced with cyanide. Cool. Nice! Yeah, <laughs> I guess. You want me to add this test to the file? Yeah, do it. it. Down. When presented with its own file, SCP-5712-1 recognized itself as a subject, but remained oblivious to its own reality and careless of its own mortality. 
It is unknown at this time whether this is caused by some property of SCP-5712 or if SCP-5712-1 is just really, really stupid. Yeah. Aim for the latter on that one. I'll paraphrase. You do that. Go How for it. Tests? Just one, then we can go get lunch. There might Chipotle. Might be more pizza left in the break room. Hey. This is the hostel one, yes? Yes. Good. Trick or treat. You are too old. <laughs> Quick shout out to all the people on Patreon who've been giving us money over the past several months. You guys are awesome. <laughs> so. Why in the world? Okay, so SCPs cover so much stuff, but at the same time, I can clearly picture an SCP doing this. Um, I would, if, is that an actual SCP? If so, I don't know about it yet, but of course, leave it down in the comment section below, guys. Because now I want to read the article. Let me go back and actually take a look at that. One second, hold on. Uh, let's see. Get back here. Dealing candy, man. People are giving it. Inside an isolated observation room in a spooky story. Let's hear it. That's all. SCP-5712 is to be kept... 5712. All right, give me a second. Boop. Let's see. 5712. No. Wait, hold on a second. What? Okay, so there's the actual 5712, which is a, a metastatic meme complex. And then there is one that's on like wiki, that this SCP sandbox wiki dot. Uh, Revenge of the Sandbox? I have no idea. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so, hey, it's there, I guess. I am an idiot. And this is known. I still liked it, guys. <sighs> I'm going to be putting all Door Monsters links in the description down below. Go check out more of him. I love the fact that they do sketch stuff like this. I want to do sketch stuff like this, but uh, I don't have a good enough camera to actually do it. I think. I haven't really tested my camera on my phone for it. The Hospitaller, we tried to do something on her phone, but it just, um, the file w just would not transmit to uh, any of our computers so we could actually get it up off the thing and do it. It was like an hour long recording. It kind of sucked that it didn't happen. Guys. Do check out Door Monster. All of his links are going to be in the description down below, right next to my own. I hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, don't go knocking on random strangers' doors. Just a statement. Just a statement. <laughs>